Okie doke, the rewards panel. Let's set that up. So what we're going to need is we're going to need another button. So user interface widget blueprint. And this will be reward panel icon underscore W. I'm going to open this up. And it's basically just going to be just like our our other our item buttons. So it's just going to have doesn't even need to be a button, it can just be an image. I'll set it to 75 by 75 because I'm pretty sure that's what the others were. Then a text. And we'll make it a button just because that'll make it easier to fit the text on it so it'll be a button 75 75 text see now the text actually fits just right on it and we can actually justify it the way we want all right now this is also going to need its um, the variable inside to be item info our item info struct and on construct we will break this open so that we can get our button and set its style in style we want to make a button style from the normal and the pressed they will make a slate brush that has this image right here. Back this up a little bit. And it's going to go into the normal and the pressed. And on the hovered, we're going to make another slate brush with the same image. But on the tint, we're going to drag off and do a make slate color. I'm just going to make this white. And then let's see, maybe. 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 is good. I think 0 0.1 is what I've always been using, so that's what we want there. I'm going to come back over here real quick. I'm going to get this text block and say item name, and it is a variable. So back in the graph, I can now grab out that get item name set, oops, text of text, and it will be the item name just like that. All right, so now back in our quest screen, back in the designer, let's go to our scroll, our rewards panel. It is a variable. All right. So in the event graph, since it is working as it should, we need to get data table row. Oh, but first we need a for each loop. So our quest info will have the rewards, so we need to shoot that rewards up here for the array. And for the loop body, we are going to get the data table row. We're going to enum to string. Oh, we got to set it's an item info data table first. Then the string plugs into the row name, just like that. Now for each reward, we then want to create a widget. The widget being the rewards icon that we just set up. Rewards, rewards panel icon. Oh, in the rewards panel icon, you can either, over here, you can have it set to like expose on spawn or wherever that was at, I forget. Uh, but I'm just going to in here I'll just pull it out the quest no reward no item info ah I'm gonna set the item info now for each one I'm going to set it to the item data table here or the info from the data table that it pulls so we're creating the widget and then we want to add that 
to our rewards panel. So I'm going to get it and add child to uniform grid. Hook that up. Content that we want to add is here. And since I set this one up to go left to right, it'll always be in row zero, but the column will change. So I'm going to promote that to a variable. Column. Drag this up and then increment that column every time we add something to it. So if I jump in and run up, it should now. It has no space in between. Whoa, that's right. Okay. So another thing that we need to do on our hovered event, the check details, every time it fires off, we want to clear the children in our rewards panel. So I'm going to grab my rewards panel out and type clear children. Then we also need to set column back to zero so that it starts at the front every single time. Now with that done, now we could, should be able to run in and take a look-see. Yeah, that's working better. Health potions. They don't do anything when you click on them, but it's a nice little... Oop. And then I come back. All right, cool, good deal. So there was one more thing. Oh, let's fix that reward thingy up a little bit. So I'm gonna go to my rewards panel. Not the scroll box, but the panel itself and the slot padding. Minimum desired slot width. Let's see, five? Slot padding on the right, five. So let's now take a look. The slot padding is the space that's in between each widget item. So now you can see they're a little bit further apart. Let's see how it handles if the quest just has ridiculous rewards. So on that, that target practice one, I'm just going to add a bunch real quick. Dying. Oh, target practice. Alright, and then I scroll, and yeah, you can see. Now you can set any items that you want, just like I got the mana potion, I got this over here. So that's all working. It's all working pretty good. Alright, so in the next one, we will start setting up our character's quest log. Kind of similarly so that we can keep track of what we're trying to do and what quests we've completed. So I will see you all in a bit. Bye-bye.